Hello, 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 and welcome back, everybody, to another episode of The Lonely Man Podcast with me, Ollie, the lonely man, the only man here, because there's no one else. <laughs> welcome back, everybody. So, have we got a lot in store for this episode? I mean, first off, this is where we're at now. This is the room. This is what you'll see for the, at least the coming future. I don't know how long. But yeah, bed here, shelves here, there's my bar. There, full of beer dispenser, toaster, coffee machine, bar stuff. Um, so yeah, we're here now, which is crazy. Because um, we're here, we've been, oh, to be fair, I've been here now for, this is like the third week, so I'm a bit lazy on the fact that I haven't done these in a while. I probably should have done one at least a week ago, but I mean, it's been a crazy couple of days, well, a couple of weeks. So when we moved, we, we had the move initially, and then the week after the move, or like sort of as I was moving, I had the blacksmithing. Crazy cool. If you want to see that, have a look at it. It's... It's down there. Just go and click on my name and then like move through uh, and you'll find it. It looks cool. Um, I'm like okay with how the video turned out. It was not my favourite thing but eventually it got to a point where like I had to just get it out. Uh, the music to gauge is to find. There's not a lot of free rock music out there. Um, <laughs> as you would expect, most people want money for their time which I understand completely. So um yeah, so we're gonna do we're gonna do a couple different things. We're gonna talk about some things. We're gonna talk about the move. We're gonna talk about the blacksmithing. Uh, but first off, as ceremonial, we're gonna try an alcohol. Now I've said an alcohol because we've done beer consistently throughout this. And I went to my local shop now, which is a co-op, and I had a look, and like they don't have the greatest variety. I think there were a couple we hadn't tried, but I wasn't feeling it. What I was feeling, on the other hand, was this. Aviation Gin, made in America by Ryan Reynolds. Well, it's a company Ryan Reynolds bought. It actually doesn't have a huge amount of labelling. Normally I like to read the labelling and take time for this. Uh, it's made in the USA, uh, bottled, batched, uh, batch distilled and bottled aviation gin, Gin Harbour WA, which I think is... Where is WA in America? Let's have a quick look. Wait one second, guys. In America? Washington. Ah, okay. Made in Washington, then. Um, it doesn't really say a huge amount. With adventurous blend of spices from around the world. And that's all we kind of get to know about this. But I can tell you, one, it smells fantastic. Like, really just neutral, but like, you can smell the spices. And I've got here a goblet to drink out of. So we're gonna crack some ice into this while we talk. And then we're gonna try some gin. It was a, yeah, it was a rogue one. I think we might just start trying all sorts of things. Um, it might not always be beer because beer can get a little boring sometimes. And gin is fun. And so are tequilas and other alcohols. I like a lot of ice. I'm just gonna put this whole thing in there. <laughs> I actually bought this recently. It's very useful. Oh no! Uh, it's got little flexible pop-outs. So getting your ice out is one of the easiest things you could probably do in the world now. Rather than like the other ones where you've got like twist it and like until like you get anything out. It's always a bit, um, a bit iffy. So we'll give ourselves a nice healthy double. Um, should we? Try a little bit. <laughs> Just not a fan of gin straight. It does taste very nice though. Oh, my reaction would not say that. But it does taste very nice. It's just very strong. Oh my god. That pop was really nice though. Sorry. I completely lost track of what I was doing. Um, let's, do I have anything to stir that with? <laughs> I do, lovely. I have a small stirring spoon. 
just to make sure it's all mixed. Anyway, there's actually been... Many people have asked for this. Um, this podcast to come back. Let's have a little... Hmm. It doesn't taste as nice as normal. I have had it with other tonics, though. I've had it with... So I've tr I bought this the other day. And I've drank it with cucumber tonic, which is alright. Elderflower tonic, great. And this is just normal tonic water. It's missing something. Lime cordial. I think it's just not, um... It's a little... A little sharp for me there. I love that this has just become part of the podcast. <laughs> me making myself a little drink. Let's try it. Let's get a little spoon. I'm sure that was a satisfying sound to hear. <laughs> Let's give it a go. Much better. Okay. So, there's been a lot of people actually asking for this to come back. Which is a real, um really nice thing to hear because the podcast doesn't do as well as like the other things and admittedly I haven't promoted the podcast let's get this very clear very like in there the podcast is the only thing so far that I don't think I've promoted because I promoted I didn't promote the vlogs or the podcasts but I have promoted the Minecraft which is why it does I think so much better and it's also very much a, a clickbaity thing. People will see Minecraft and they'll be like, must watch. And I understand that because I do that as well. Um, but this doesn't get as many views as everything else. So when it's like a, the vlogs don't matter as much right now because they're not like such a consistent thing as this is supposed to be. So when this doesn't do as well, it's a bit of like, oh, okay, cool. But I've had a couple people say it, a couple friends, a couple of everyone. It's just like all people kind of really enjoy it. Uh, I know a lot of people just listen to this while you're cooking. If you are, I hope it's tasty. Um, but we're back. Uh, I think we're we're a couple weeks off track, so we're probably not going to hit 52 episodes this year. But we will hit 52 episodes at some point. Um, going back to the gin, because we never did our, our main thing. It smells like nothing. Tasted very nice. Um, it's a little... I mean, I've added now lime. I've ruined this bit. Yep, I've ruined this bit. I'm sorry, everyone. <laughs> it's also midday, so... Cheers to anyone else who's joining me. <laughs> My god. Um, so yeah, we've actually been doing really well. Just a little update on the channel. Today, this very day, on the 16th of August, we hit 100 subs. <laughs> Yay! So, that's a huge milestone. Um... I started doing this properly, so I did the engineering stuff and I stopped that, and then I came back to it and I started properly doing it, and I think I had about 30 subs. So we've gained 70 since we began this part of the journey, which is amazing, absolutely fantastic. So we've got those now, and we're gonna do a 100 subs special. I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna surprise you. I was gonna say it, but I'm filming the video today. Well, the start of it. It's gonna take a couple days to film because there's a couple bits that I need to get done and they need things to happen. So, leaving it for now. But we are then going to um, basically just carry on with it. Um, so there's gonna be that happening soon. There's this again, the Minecraft's going well. I keep promoting those. They're doing well. They're bringing in new people. If you're new, welcome and hello. Um, they got a lot of views. Uh, not necessarily that's what I'm after right now. Subscribers are realistically what I need right now. I need consistent viewers. But I'm very happy with where we are. Everyone's very excited when I sent the little screenshot of the hundo people who subbed to me today. Um, so yeah, we're just going to keep going with that. So let's get back on topic with the podcast. So there was the move, which was mad. I did this all by myself. Uh, don't look at me like, oh my God, he's, he's such a wonderful person. He had nobody helping him. What a poor man. No, no, everyone offered to help me, e everyone. But I left it really late. I like, I viewed this place on a Sunday and I signed it on the following Monday 
and started moving in on that Monday. So I left it very late. So that's my fault. Um, and then we moved in. It was a heavy thing. Like my drawer, if you listen, that, which is the ding connector to my table, man, it was full of books. And I just lifted it with everything in it. Cause I was like, easy, right? Oh, tore up my arms. I absolutely ruined myself that day. And it took me two days in total to move across, which isn't too bad considering everything that's in here. Um, I still have some boxes that are like, they're full of things that I'm like, they don't have room here. Like they're up here, wait, let me, they're up there. Um, they don't have room. This is going to be such a, is this going to be fine? Yeah, it's going to be fine. Uh, they don't have room really for where like they'd need to be. So they're staying there for now. And I'm just going to sort of work out what I'm doing with them. I've started selling some things that aren't that useful to me anymore. Like for example, my router and my like modem. I sold some books that aren't that useful to me anymore, just to kind of clear some of the clutter that I had, um, which I think is not really done much. Uh, and I didn't get a huge amount of money from them, but they're out of my room. So way in the positive sort of thing. Um, but that, that was all done. Everything's kind of set up again. My desk is already messy. I'm not going to pan down to my desk. But um, yeah, it's going there. It's getting there for sure. Oh, I just spilled some. <laughs> Arguably, not the easiest cup to drink out of. Um, and then we had the, the blacksmithing, which was crazy cool. Like, so cool. Um, such a fantastic experience. Um, I really loved filming it. I tried to keep myself very much immersed myself rather than letting the filming take over. We got a lot of footage, but it's told me that I need realistically, if I wanna keep doing fun vlogs, I need to stop investing in the stuff that's here and start investing in more of the portable stuff because the DSLR basically, it's not great for filming. Um, I actually learned about this recently. So it's, it's to do with tax purposes that cameras have a different tax bracket to video cameras. So they limit how long you can record for so that you it doesn't go into that next tax bracket. Very interesting. But I need basically a better vlogging camera. The GoPro's fine. The GoPro is fine. I reckon that I have two batteries for the GoPro and I'm pretty sure it was just the heat that was really, really doing in the GoPro. I also need to get a better chest mount because it was mostly just pointing at like a kind of like here, but then a little bit tilted, which wasn't the worst. It gave some cool camera angles, but I really wanted it flat. Um, and I just, I jimmied it and jangled it as much as I could and I couldn't get it to go flat. Um, but yeah, I think it was a really great experience. I tried to make sure that I filmed a lot, but also learned a lot because I wanted that good balance of getting the footage, but also just like enjoying myself because if I'm going to, do these things more often I want to be able to actually enjoy what I'm doing I don't want it to be purely like oh my god I haven't recorded enough I've got to do this I've got to do that Ugh. I want it to be very much a I'm having a great time you guys can see I'm having a great time let's just fucking go um I didn't get to record that much of me in between it was a lot of the like um just hammering and stuff because the sort of bits that we had in between so the way the, the day went was I turned up and then we got a little tutorial of what we were going to be doing. And then he kind of said, look, we'll start now. So we started and then every so often we'd stop for a second. He'd show us the next step and then we'd go again. And I didn't want to sort of every time we stopped, go away and be like, so this is what we've done. We're going to be doing this next because I'd slowly get further and further behind, I imagine, because blacksmithing is hard. It's not an easy thing to do, uh, any means. My arms were like just dead after the day, but like, I mean, guns for a blacksmith, pretty much. I was built to be a blacksmith, but I decided to take a more inside route. <laughs> no, um, honestly, amazing watching uh, Owen Bush work. He just like, the stuff that he did, so to forge our knife, it took us from like nine to five, including an hour lunch break. He could have forged our knife 
between that nine to five period with the lunch break, I reckon he could have made 30 of our knives quite easily. He was just like, when he was like showing us the next steps, he'd do five hits sort of thing. And he'd be like, that's pretty much where you're at. And then we'd all go away and go for half an hour, just like bang, 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 trying to get it done. And it's just like, how did he do it like this? I don't know. But it was a really amazing experience. And then I came back, um, and then I've kind of just been trying to get myself back into the routine. I'm still not caught up. I'm two episodes ahead of myself right now uh, in the Minecraft, which is great. Um, I've got to just keep catching up though right now and get myself back into it because I'm going away this weekend of the 22nd. I'm going away on the 22nd till the 24th. So I've got a little outing for my wonderful girlfriend's birthday. I've planned some things. We're going places. But that means I can't film on those days and those are my days off. So I've got to kind of catch up and really get myself there so that I don't slow down. Because I know it's always awkward when, like, I tell you my content's back now and there's, like, a gap and, like, it's just, like, scattered. So, like, I've got a book. I, I specifically tore out everything in this book to make it my... Where's the... Wait for it. Wait for it. YouTube notes. <laughs> This is where we're at so far. Can you see? Yeah, Monday uh, is Minecraft. Wednesday, podcast, which should be today, because I'm filming this on Monday. Uh, then Friday, Minecraft. Saturday, Minecraft. Sunday, day off. So, we're getting there. We are getting there. I just need to slowly start churning through all of this and get myself sorted. Um, but yeah, I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, living here has given me such a new lease on life. I'm closer to friends. I'm closer to my girlfriend. It's just a whole load of good times here. So yeah, um, I just like, you can't... It felt very, and I'm sure everyone felt like this during COVID, felt very isolated where I was last living because I was quite far away and stuff. But now I'm close, I'm good. I had a horrible thing happen to me the other day though. I punctured a tire. Now I've only done this once before and the one time I did it before, I have no idea how I did it. I was driving up a hill when I used to live in Devon and then all of a sudden like, I had the radio on and they were listening to like, a, it was a news article about um, like a war going on. I can't remember exactly what it was, but then I heard a loud bang and I was like, oh my God, that was, that was really real. That was like, insanely real crazy um, that bang was my tire <laughs> it had popped and I started driving and I started going feels a bit weird like turning the wheel and stuff I was like hmm and then I was like I'm just gonna pull over and see I was like fuck <laughs> so that was um that was crazy and then this time so it's taken me a little bit of time to get my parking permit for outside my property the back of my property is here I don't know why I needed to tell you that anyway um so I finally got the parking permit to park on the road outside, but before I've been parking like round the corner where it's like free to park. And I was driving and I saw a nice spot and I was like, perfect, I'll park there. And I went to go up on the curb and I just took it at a really wrong angle and it just burst my tire. And I was just like, Ugh. it's such a, such an expense to take. Um, so luckily I have an AA membership for anyone not in the UK that doesn't know what the AA is. I think the AA is global, but if you don't, it's uh, roadside assistance. So I called them, I got them to change the tire. Admittedly, I could have done it myself, but I pay for AA, so I may as well let them do it. And there was some liquid that leaked and I was like, maybe I fucked something more than I think. So I was like, could check it as well and they checked it and he was like it's fine so I was like okay no worries then uh he changed it and then I had to drive and get them replaced I ended up getting both front tires replaced because I was like it's a front wheel drive car my dad suggested it. he's like you may as well get it done because it's just better to have both of them replaced and I was like sure it's I mean he wasn't paying for it but he was advising I pay double the amount reasonable it's fine so I changed that and um yeah, it was a very annoying 100-ish pounds to spend, but I guess the benefit is I've got new tyres, and then they're safer, right? Question mark? Sure. Um, <laughs> uh, 
I don't really know anymore. I've lost my mind. Uh, another thing, though, I've been applying for jobs, but so I always seem to. I feel like on this channel, I'm constantly going. I got a new job, or I'm applying for jobs. I'm just trying to find something that suits me the best I can. Um, so I've been applying for some jobs. Job applications are crazy. The more they're willing to pay you, the more hoops you have to go through, which I completely understand. So I recently applied for a job as a product specialist, um, which was going really well. I did an initial, so I got a message on LinkedIn. Then I did an initial interview um, with the HR and he was like, you're cool, move you on. Did an interview with the product manager. She was like, you're cool. Did another interview with the product manager. She was like, you're cool. Uh, and then finally, I was supposed to get a call and I got an email and I was like, mm. and then the email was like, this time we're not going ahead with you. I was like, shame. I was like, but I'm a good applicant. I'm a good person. I was like, can you just let me know what I didn't have that they did? Just so I can sort of see where maybe I was lacking and try and improve that. Because if it's something like, for example, oh, they had this skill and you didn't. I would just go away and learn that skill because it gives me a one-up apparently. But no, it was experience. Just letting that sink in. I didn't get the job because I don't have experience. And I know everyone talks about this, but how am I supposed to ever get a job without experience? If the job that I wanted won't give me experience. Gonna let that one sink in again actually and just take another sip. Yeah, so it's a real, they were lovely about it, but it's a real kick in the balls to be told because they did tell me they were like, you were one of our better applicants, but we've gone with someone with experience and it's like, how can I be one of the better ones I get it, I can be one of the better ones, but it's just such a, ugh. so it is what it is and I'm sort of moving on and applying for other positions and talking to recruiters, so it's just one of those really, but it's such a, I wanted to talk about that a little bit, because like this podcast is kind of like talking about my life a little bit, and that was one thing that happened to me since the last podcast, which was, ugh, I want to say a long time ago, let's have a quick look last podcast so we had the i like to consider the consensual stabbing co my covid journey a little bit of a podcast but if we want to go from the last podcast it was in the th oh it wasn't that long ago it was the one where i felt a bit naff though which is wait it's wednesday which is why it's only 20 minutes but it was only on the 30th oh oh <laughs> 30th of june it's now august so that was over a month and a half ago. Fair enough. I was just for a second, I was like, don't know what everyone's complaining about. No, it was a long time ago. <laughs> it was a month and a half ago. I thought we were in July still. I was like, ah, easy. Uh, but no, we're in June or oh, August. Christ, uh, my brain really just dying. Um, it's one of those where the move put me back and then I had to sort of start catching up with the Minecraft and now we're getting back onto this. So again, weekly, half an hour max sort of thing, vids. I think it's pretty decent. I'm hoping everyone's still enjoying it. Um, but yeah, so we've had an amazing time. Uh, it's been a, a big, um, big month basically. Uh, I had the whole move, had everything going on, um, but now we're settled again and it's lovely and I can record and there's all you lovely people in the comments and I can do things with friends and just like it's still not quieting down for me yet. I think it'll be quiet from like September onwards I'll have a bit more like a, a chill time but for now quite happy um, I'm looking into doing of course the 100 sub special because I'm very excited for that it's going to be so cool uh, keep your eyes on this space uh, not physically in the video down below uh, for more on that but yeah it was just it's been pretty immense I'm also thinking of just because I, I looked this way and that's where my OBS is right now and I've got my twitch panel here I'm thinking about going back to streaming again now my streaming is that right it says I have 122 followers is that correct 
Let's see. I do have 122 followers. Crazy. Uh, okay. That's cool. Yeah, amazing. Okay. I I never even knew that I had 120. That's super cool. Okay, cool. I was just having a look. I had some things. Uh, so yeah, well, I'm going to start streaming again soon. Uh, I know my friend Lewis has moved, so we're going to do some stuff with him. But I also just want to start streaming again, because I know some people are looking forward to it. There's a lot of grindy stuff I've got coming up. I'm planning a series with my friend Ready Made Lobotomy, uh, a Minecraft series with her that should be quite fun, that will require a lot of grinding, so I think a lot of streams. Um, and I'm just sort of thinking it would be a, a fun thing to do to start again now that I've hit 100 subs, just to start jumping back into that. Not sure where that's going to sort of land yet. I'm considering maybe, of course, doing it on the... Wait. Possibly on maybe Tuesday, Thursday, because they're the off days. So you'd then basically constantly have content from me um and they seem like reasonable days to do it but we'll uh we'll have a little look and see what we can what we can do and what we can plan because it's still a lot of my life to deal with um to do a whole stream every week or two streams every week even so we're going to sort of see what we can get planned and find some good games and just sort of have fun with it really that's the main thing i try and do when i stream is just sort of like enjoy myself so that you guys can just watch me and just have a laugh because it's more for me at least I don't know how everyone else sort of sees streaming for me it's one of those where I enjoy the interaction and being able to talk to you guys live than anything else like it's fun to play the games and you can see me play the games and ask me to do things but like that live aspect of being able to like you type something to me and it's just like ah I've got like voice to speech on I think right that's a thing I've got. I've got, uh, say it live, yeah. So like you can like put things live and stuff. It's super cool. It's just such a fun thing and like it's really good for engagement. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to hopefully picking that up again. And I think that's where we're going to wrap this one up. It's kind of been a very sporadic podcast talking about all sorts of things, catching you up with my life. Um, <laughs> thank you again, everyone who is here. And thank you for all the subs. You all mean so much to me. Um, and I look forward to seeing you, hopefully, live when I'm streaming. So look, keep an eye out for that. I will post little vids just to let you know that I'm live and stuff. So just hit the bell. Hit the bell, sub, like this video, comment, all the things. Tell your friends, tell your family. Let's get everyone involved. And I love your faces.